real estate you in New York. Went to vlogging a went year to ago. Vlog, yeah, I have a four-person team now that's filming most of my brokers, yeah. so it's been tremendously uh, effective. And yeah. my question to you is, how do I get more of my agents to actually get involved in in the videos, in their social media? You don't. You, you put don't. pressure by showing that it's working and let and then bring in new people to eat their lunch yeah. and then get, got it? Yeah, so either you know, they have it or they don't. Or my biggest or thesis not. on all life at some level is you can't sell the unsellable. I sell nobody, it was back to me telling you just now, I don't give a fuck. Do it and let the pressure of the results create the narrative. When the winner right now in your commercial real estate starts seeing somebody that they think is a loser start doing more deals, they're gonna be like, wait a minute, fucking Rick, right? Everybody's concerned with their image out in the universe. I mean, yeah. that's a big, you know, they just, they're not comfortable. And I, I think can... that's a big loss for them as, as a broker. And Honestly. I think what people are gonna understand, so do you know what my biggest theory is right now on all of this sexism and calling out everybody? Is in a 50 year macro, we're gonna all realize that we're all flawed and everything that's taboo will be far more accepted and we're gonna be, I think this is one amazing step backwards that's gonna lead to two incredible steps forward because there's not a single person in this room that doesn't do something that we think is taboo in society. So great, you, you don't sexually harass, but you have a drug problem. Oh great, you don't have a drug problem, but you have a gambling problem. You're, you have infidelity, you're stealing. Like, there is no perfect human and as we start exposing issue by issue because of the way the internet now works and you can't hide, Harvey Weinstein and Matt Lauer were protected by the media, by the three old white guys that killed all the investigative stories to ever see the day of life. Now, what the fuck are you doing right now? There's no hiding. So, I'll show them this video, so, hopefully. That's right. yeah. so, so here's the punchline. All the fuckers right there that aren't doing anything about it, they think they're being fancy and smart and holding up a facade and they are literally in the process of becoming irrelevant. Show them that. Yeah, they're invisible. They're fucking were those, invisible. Were those four people there before, yeah, before you started this though? Uh, yeah, no, I, so I, I, a year ago I started holding this thing on my own. Yeah. Um, about three other brokers that get it started doing the same. Yeah. So we pass our, our three cameras around a yeah. year ago and we edit the, the footage and put it out uh, on Fridays, so yeah. once a week. It since grew to people coming to me, I can help you, I can do this better than you, sure. young creatives, and now we have a four, but four I, person I just, team. I like the idea that you talk about, about you, know, you bring in new blood, right? You bring in, because mm -hmm. it's, it's the older agents aren't gonna, they don't need it, right? They knew you before. Sure. And like we have that on my team. Like we, I pushed against vlogs for a long time, and we just launched ours uh, an hour ago at one o'clock, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, you should subscribe. Uh, it's, a, it's a new medium for me. I like being polished and edited in LA. It's, it's great. Um, and a lot of agents are like, I don't know, I don't know. And so I just started bringing me more people, more people who know me now, know me now, know me now, and they're all about it. And then the older agents do the same thing. They're like, Rick's not gonna do anything, and then Rick closes a $30 million deal in Nolita, and they're like, all of a sudden, then I see them with like their <laughs> flip cam from 10 years ago, and they're like, oh, I can do it too, I can do it too. I'm like, okay, great, welcome to the party, let's in go. In times of massive disruption, and please understand, the maturity of the internet right now is massive disruption. In times of massive disruption, success is your vulnerability. And that's what's happening, got it? Like, I, I'm just obsessed with that. Love you guys, see ya.